No matter how you feel about the just released Mueller report, it's hard to have a discussion about it without factoring in the role of the media throughout. Tonight, Fox News media analyst and host of Fox's Media Buzz, Howard Kurtz, looks at what the media were saying during the investigation and what they're saying now. The media have long cast Robert Mueller as a no-nonsense G-man who is going to expose terrible corruption in Donald Trump's campaign and his White House. But now that Mueller's report is out, many journalists and liberal pundits are essentially overruling his legal judgment in bringing no further charges. I look at this evidence and it sure looks like obstruction of justice to me. The biggest headline is that the report makes the case the president tried to collude and makes a detailed case of how he tried to obstruct. I think that... There's just no way to look at that and say that the president wasn't trying to obstruct justice. The New York Times headline, a portrait of the White House and its culture of dishonesty. The witch hunt is officially over. On the right, many commentators see the report as vindication of their view that the president did nothing wrong. And to those who branded the primetime hosts on this network as state news for daring to tell the truth, not just our truth, but the truth, you owe us an apology. While there's enough in the report to give both sides ammunition, the media have almost completely dropped their two-year focus on collusion with Russia after Mueller found that didn't happen. As for obstruction, where Mueller neither charged nor exonerated the president and his associates, he found that Trump had ordered White House counsel Don McGahn to fire Mueller, but backed off when McGahn threatened to quit. And yet the New York Times reported that more than a year ago. Do you want to fire Robert Mueller? Fake news, folks. Fake news. What's your message today? Typical New York Times fake stories. But it wasn't fake. In another case that sparked headlines, Mueller found a sizzling new detail, that the president dropped the F-bomb and blamed Jeff Sessions when the then attorney general told him of Mueller's appointment. But this, too, was plowing old ground. The president constantly taunted Sessions in public. Even my enemies say that Jeff Sessions should have told you that he was going to recuse himself and then you wouldn't have put him in. So the report documents that some of the media's disputed stories were true. But that past reporting also means there are no new bombshells. Yet Mueller makes clear that other highly touted stories were untrue, including a CNN report on the president's knowledge of two top aides and his son meeting with a Russian lawyer promising dirt on Hillary Clinton. Sources with knowledge tell myself and Carl that Michael Cohen claims that then-candidate Donald Trump knew in advance about the June 2016 meeting in Trump Tower. Mueller found no evidence of that. BuzzFeed caused a furor by reporting that Cohn would say Trump told him to lie to Congress about a Russian real estate project. If the BuzzFeed story is correct, we are like not only at another level, we are at impeachment. But the report said the evidence does not establish that the president aided or directed Cohn's false testimony. It's a bit of a Rorschach test with areas where Mueller does vindicate the president, along with unflattering information on Trump aides balking at his orders to curtail the probe. But many in the media are focusing mainly on the most questionable conduct and breaking with the special counsel on whether it was criminal. Brett? Howie, thanks.